Karrion Cross versus Finn Balor. It's an NXT title match, which means we always get my favorite intangibles. And man, they had a lot of intangibles this week. They seem and, like two men with just a lot of tangibles. Uh, uh, some of these, some of these intangibles are totally tangible. Finn Balor's intangibles are ruthless, agility, enduring stamina, which seems redundant. <laughs> enduring stamina. Yes. So it's not limited stamina. It's not wilting stamina. No. <laughs> okay, that's good. And also ring IQ. Karrion Cross's intangibles are intense striker, judo grappler, presence, and a dominating. Huh. Some are nouns, some are verbs, some are adjectives. His drawing. presence is an intangible that might help him win this match. <laughs> yeah, so as is his huh. judo his judo grappling is intangible. Huh. So there was something Judo near, grappling. There was something near the beginning of this match that made me angry, and something near the end of this match that made me angry. Otherwise, it was fucking great. They do this big, long intro. Finn Balor gets his entrance. Kieran Cross gets his whole entrance with the song and the smoke and the performance. And they do the isolated ring intros. And it's only 10 minutes to get all this done. And the bell rings. They go to commercial in one minute. That made me so mad. Just do the intros, then go to commercial and start the match when you get back. That's all you got to do. No, you see, Vinny, if you just do the entrances for a World Heavyweight Championship match... People might turn off the show if you go to commercial after that. But if you show them one minute, god damn, they'll come back. I guess so. Because maybe, maybe they don't know there's going to be a match if you don't show them a minute of it. Maybe they think you're just going to show them an entrance and then go off the air. So they had a great, great, great match. The, the early highlight was Finn making a mini comeback, and he throws Cross outside, and he hit the best running apron kick you ever saw it's a very basic move the bucks do it in every match finn probably does it in every match but i don't think i've ever seen it done this well because he's standing in the apron as cross is getting to his feet and as cross turns around finn points at him and he runs and he swings that leg through he kicks so hard he goes off his own feet both of his feet go flying through the air cross times his bump perfect his arms go flying up his feet go flying up. he goes back it looks awesome that went into commercial break number two, which is 11 minutes into the match. It came back, and they're just having a great match where Finn keeps getting the advantage, and Cross essentially no sells and comes back. And each time, Finn's advantage is a little bit stronger, the movie gets a little bit bigger, and Cross just no sells it more and more. He's getting more and more evil monster. So he tries a big dive, Finn Balor does. He wipes him out with a toe paste of the ropes, but as he pops up full of piss and vinegar, Cross pops up behind him full of more piss and vinegar and grabs him and slams him down across the desk. Massive momentum shifter. And they get back in and they're going back and forth, and Finn misses the coup de gras. Uh, Cross misses the elbow to the back of the head. This is finished. They get a scramble on the mat, and Karrion gets, I believe, a choke. He gets some kind of submission on. Oh, no, it's the elbows. He's laying in the elbows from the mount like Karrion Cross does. And the referee stops the match to make sure Cross is okay and that he can continue. Finn Balor had the advantage. He was using legal strikes. They were nowhere near the ropes and the referee stepped in to stop him. Finn Balor, as far as I'm concerned, got screwed and is the rightful NXT champion via ref stoppage here in this NXT main event. That's not what happened. The ref said, okay, I made you stop hitting him. He's fine. Continue now that you've lost your advan uh, uh, advantageous position. And they go back and forth, and eventually Cross uh, does the gotch lift powerbomb, hits a clothesline, some elbows, some stomps, and he chokes him out, and he wins. A great, great wrestling match with a poorly timed commercial and an incompetent referee. Yeah, aside from the incompetent referee, uh, which I don't think was like part of an angle, it was just some shit that happened. The story of this match was that Karrion Cross is the better man. Yes. I mean, he decisively, I mean, we see it all the time in WWE. Distraction finish, music, somebody comes out, uh, visual pinfall, blah, 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 blah. Karrion Cross was a superior man. He mm -hmm. beat the shit out of this man. Mm-hmm. He no-sold much of this man's offense. He choked this man to fucking death. Yeah. And then he stood over him and gloated. 
fact, when this was over, I was like, Finn Balor's out of here. He's out of here. What in God's name do you do with Finn Balor now? I have no idea. Now, I've thought the same thing, by the way, about Adam Cole. Adam Cole did that interview with uh, Rosh Markazi or whatever. Remember that one he did at the pool mm-hmm. like three yep. weeks ago? Yep. He's doing this this promo, and certainly there's nothing wrong with the promo. He's a great promo. But I'm watching and going, what the fuck are you doing here still? Like, I don't know. What more can Adam Cole do? You've been champion. You've been in the lead group that's broken up. You had the blood feud with the guy that was in the group with you for multiple years and lost. And then he does the promo where the question is now why he doesn't have an answer. It's like, the answer is fucking get the fuck out of here. Go to Raw or SmackDown. Now, do I have any faith that they will do anything with Adam Cole on Raw or SmackDown? No, of course not. But Finn Balor has been on Raw and SmackDown. So at this point, when there's nothing left for this guy to do, send him back to Raw and SmackDown. Because I fucking watch Raw and SmackDown, and especially Raw, could goddamn sure use a Finn Balor right now. Because it's the same guys doing the same matches with the same guys, literally the exact same matches, week after week after week after week after week. You know what you could do? You could send somebody down to NXT to replace Finn Balor, and then uh, later rotate somebody else. But this was as decisive a win over a big-time main eventer as you can get. And I don't know where the guy goes except out of here. No, the, 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 rem, remember when uh, uh, Anderson Silva beat Rich Franklin for the it was the middleweight title in the UFC, beat him for the belt, and they did a, re, did a rematch. And all the pre-match build, Franklin was saying everything you're supposed to say. He caught me off guard. I learned from my mistakes. I'm a better fighter now. He won't catch me again. And Silva beat him again. And I will never forget in the post-fight promo. Somebody asked, or post-fight press conference, somebody asked Rich Franklin, would you take a third match with Anderson Silva? And he was silent for a few seconds. Finally, he says, I would take the fight, but honestly, I don't see much point. That's where we are here. That's with, where we with are Finn with Balor. Finn Balor and Adam Cole. Yes, there's no and point. And probably dude. others as well. well was, yeah. Like, you can stick around, and you'll have great matches, and you'll do good promos and everything like that, but what's the point? What it's time point? to move on. Yes. It is time to go to the main. The whole point of having three, if you're part of the, we have three brands, but they might as well call them three territories. The whole point of having territories is to move guys around and keep them fresh. It's time to move some guys around. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button. And when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.